Holy crap. What's up friends? I got a brand new video for you today. The M1 Mac Mini is in the house and I've been trying to bring it to its knees throwing 8K video at it, raw video at it, H.265 4K 10-bit 60 frames per second and it just handles it no problem. I threw 100 megapixel raw files from the Fuji GFX, also no problem. It's Apple's new silicon, their M1 chip. It's their new SoC, an entirely new architecture. It's something that we are gonna have to change our minds about how we think of computers because this isn't like how regular computers work. Their SOC, so their CPU die, has the GPU built into it, the CPU built into it, RAM built into it, so that there's way less latency. Everything's just tight and fast, and unfortunately, you can't upgrade this thing at all. Like, everything's just soldered right on the motherboard. But because everything's so tight-knit and connected, like I said, there's no latency. Everything's so fast. It's like using an iPad. Apps open instantly. You can open multiple apps. I don't know how their power management's gonna be, but they also released the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro running on the same type of specs. And not only is that playing inside Final Cut smoothly, I also have Resolve open with a bunch of RAW files running as well. So we got Blackmagic RAW files from a music video I shot, randomly cut up, 24 frames per second, no drop frames. I'm also screen recording right now at the same time. And uh, so that's Blackmagic RAW, but then it transitions over to Canon RAW. There's a little bit of stutter there, a little bit of lag, it dropped one frame, but now it's running smoothly at 24 frames per second. I'm also screen recording at the same time, so I'm not expecting it to be running perfectly smooth, but still, no drop frames. Either way, I can scrub this, no lag, instant playback when I hit space bar. So I think the crazy thing is, it's a completely new architecture, so it's really hard to benchmark this. Obviously, you've seen my Geekbench scores, and they're higher than pretty much most of the Macs that are out there. Obviously, in single core, it's the highest, and then when it comes to multi-core, it's up there with like the eight core iMac Pro, which is crazy for something this small. Now obviously this isn't a full review. I will come out with a full review where I really put this thing through its paces, huge edits, comparing it to some of my other computers, like my laptop and obviously my big monster computer. But today I just wanted to open this stuff up, see what it was doing and see what it could handle. And I was blown away. One of the huge things that's either just Big Sur in general or this computer, but 10 bit videos now have thumbnails and you can tap spacebar to preview them right inside of Finder, which before it was just black thumbnail and you couldn't preview the video at all. So that's a huge improvement. I'm currently editing this video on the Mac Mini right now just to see how it handles it. This is H.265 video as well as some ProRes stuff mixed in and uh, it's running perfectly smooth. Okay, so if you're wondering whether 16 gigs of RAM is enough, so far I've got DaVinci Resolve running with a bunch of raw footage running in it. I've got Final Cut Pro with a whole bunch of random footage running in it. ProRes RAW, H.265, 8K video running. Now I got Lightroom open, and I've loaded in Fuji GFX 100 files. So these are 100 megapixel RAW files loaded into Lightroom, no problem. I can go in here and play with presets. These are my presets that I actually have created, if you wanna check them out. So you can see what they look like. I can just run through the presets here, um, click on that make some exposure adjustments. I don't know, it's way better than I thought it was gonna be. This is a little tiny Mac Mini. It's not even hot, and the fans have not even turned on yet. But I also haven't started rendering anything. That's just running all this stuff. All right, so that's basically all I wanted to show you guys. I just wanted to make this quick video, get it out there to show you my first impressions because I had a stupid grin on my face this whole time because it was a completely new experience. I've never seen H.265 video playback like that. Even 8K video playing back without stuttering, my huge computer 
has problems with that. And so this is something completely new, something super awesome. And the Mac mini is only $699, it's not even that expensive. So obviously most of the apps that are out there aren't supported yet. They're just running under Rosetta 2, which is kind of emulating like an x86 platform, which allows it to still run. So I was able to run Premiere and run some raw files in it, but I was still having a lot of stuttering and lagging trying to run the R5 files. So that's the IPB 4K 10-bit files. They were just still kind of a little bit choppy, but the raw footage from Blackmagic and the ProRes RAW were actually running really smooth in Premiere, which was kind of not expected. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to talk about today. Obviously, I'll make a full review on it. Let me know what you guys want to know, what you want me to test on this thing. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. What is this? Ooh, Big Sur, discover your new Mac. No thanks.